It's time to delve back into Johto, the legends of Johto GX Fox. That sounds a, it, it doesn't roll off the tongue particularly well, but uh, today we have the legends of Johto GX collection, not box. Um, so yeah, it's themed after the legendary dogs, although if, um, you know, for those of you with keen eyes will notice that the promo cards include Entei, Raikou, and five packs. Um, guys, there's, there's, um, <clears throat> there, there's, there's another one there, but yeah, um, I, basically this year Pokemon Company are kind of doing a legendary thing where they're distributing legendary Pokemon, and I guess Suicune is coming in his own thing, despite the fact he's actually included in the large card there. Uh, so, we're going to take a quick look at the back, that is the text if anyone is interested. And indeed, that's just a description of what we get. But there's no point looking into what we get because we're going to open this thing up. There we are. Uh, so, yeah, when I saw this on shelves, I kind of instantly decided to buy it because Johto, um, you know, is definitely, like, I think my favourite region and is the most nostalgic for me. I did play Red when it came out. However, Pokemon Silver was when I really got into Pokemon. Like, Red was fun, Silver was when I sat down and realised, oh, oh, this is a series I really like. Now, the box is actually too big to get everything in uh, in one shot without holding it quite a distance away. So I'm going to discard the box in the back there, uh, take off the top, and we'll take a look. Due to the size, I've actually uh, changed camera angles just to do this part. So we'll lift the lid off, uh, nothing comes off with that, and we'll take a quick look at the promo card, which honestly is another thing I really like about this. The large card isn't just an enlarged version of those cards, but it's actually a card into itself. It's a special one that I presume we can only get in large form, which is Raikou Entei and Suicune. It's got the Legendary Collection kind of stamp thing. And the move is obviously unplayable and kind of a bit bland, really. Be legendary. Ah, I get it, because they're legendary. Um, yeah, and the, the description of the move doesn't particularly make sense. Raikou, Entei and Suicune embark on a year of legendary adventures. O okay. That doesn't describe the attack, though. Um, it does have a shiny Pokeball, though. So... We have with us uh, two GX cards and five packs. So I'm going to go back to the um, regular lower angle and we'll take a look. Okay, so we're starting off with the Raikou GX card that comes with it. Uh, that is some top quality artwork. Um, actually, I didn't realise how cool it was in the box because I didn't really take a look at them. I just knew it was about the legendary dogs and bought it. Uh, man, that is a... It's a SM... 121 for those of you wondering and that that's some really nice artwork actually and of course my boy Entei literally part of the reason I even decided to get this box is Entei is my favorite legendary Pokemon uh, and he is SM oh okay no he's actually not a um he's not a promo card he's actually from a set I'm not sure what set that is but if I work it out I will put it at the uh, bottom of the screen there. Also, what I do like they've started doing is they've added like A or whatever at the end of the numbers to signify that even though it's not a promo card, it is a special version of that card that is available in you know particular boxes or whatever. And of course, we have five packs. So I'm going to clear everything out from the back and then we'll open these things up. Okay, so we've got uh, five packs. We've got an Ultra Prism. A, uh, ooh, Primal Clash, okay, interesting. We've got a Burning Shadows, we've got a Breakthrough, and we've got an, another Ultra Prism. So, Primal Clash, uh, I think Primal Clash came for Breakthrough, I can't remember. But we'll do it in that order, basically. So, for those off to the side. Now, admittedly, I don't really know what I'm looking for with a lot of these packs. I'd just like to pull an EX, I suppose, or a Hollow. That would be nice. Um, yeah, I think Primal Clash had some pretty nice EXs or something. And because this is X and Y, I do believe it's three to the front rather than four. And we begin 
with Maxi's Hidden Ball Trick, which is uh, a slightly unfortunately named card, I'll be honest. We've got a ride on. Ah, yes, the Primal Trait Bidoof. Lovely. We have Illumise. A Solrock. Ah, Mudkip. I really like that art, actually. That's one of my favourite um, Mudkip cards, for sure. We've got a Trap Inch looking. Wow. Slightly, slightly annoyed there that there's snow or something. Uh, we have a nose pass. The reverse hollow is. Ooh, hello. Okay, so melodic. That's nice. I believe that's a rare. Uh, and the final card is a hollow cro uh, crab. Crawdont. I was going to say crab roller. That is completely the wrong Pokemon. That's really nice. Uh, yeah, I think I have this card, but. Pulling a hollow is never a bad thing, really. On to the next pack. Man, this, this episode is full of jump cuts. Just, uh, there are going to be no standard, normal shots here. Every few seconds is going to be a jump cut. Also, just for clarity, I, I didn't actually open this any further. Uh, but if I do pull some kind of secret rare, then I completely understand if people think I'm faking. Uh, Right, this is also an X and Y, so three to the front again. Let's begin. Okay, we have a Houndoom Spirit Link. I keep forgetting Houndoom actually got a Mega Evolution. Uh, we have a Floet, yay, everyone's favourite card that is in every set, despite the fact no one really likes it. We have a Brakeson, a Pokemon that people do like. A Chespin, a, a Pokemon a lot of people do like. We have a Starly, very nice. Ooh, Goldeen. It's been, a, it's been a while since I've seen Goldeen in card form, actually. Ah! Oh, ah, oh, I don't think I've seen this. Ah, oh, this is adorable. I I don't think I've ever pulled a Cyndaquil from this set. That is... Ah, oh, that's precious. I want to see his evolution lines now, actually. Uh, we've got Hippopotas, looking rather... Epic. The reverse is an Inke. Okay, not bad. Uh, like the uh, reverse designs in this set, actually. And the rare is a Aromatis. Uh, well, you know, you win some, you lose some. Uh, I don't know what it is about the Gen 7 Fairy Pokemon, but they're just so... Apart from Klefki, who kind of stood out because it was such a weird design, the rest of the like fairy Pokemon from X and Y were just, I don't know, in in my mind were kind of forgettable. They were all just generic. Oh, they're kind of cutesy. Uh, talking about kind of cutesy, next up is Burning Shadows. Marshadow is it's definitely one of my favourite designed um, legendaries, actually, because it's kind of, it's simple, but it's got just enough, you know, character and stuff. Uh, this is indeed Sun and Moon, so it's four to the front, I believe. Uh, there's the energy, and to uh, rip off Leon Hart's uh, patented Guess the Energy game, I'm gonna go fire! I was completely wrong. Uh, right, ooh, okay, we have a Simipore. I didn't realise the monkeys were in Burning Shadows, actually. Ooh, we got a Noctowl! Um, okay, I thought that was the shiny Noctowl for a second, but it's not. We got my boy Electabuzz, oh yeah, Charmander, oh. we have a Sneasel, uh, ooh. oh, Alolan Grimer, yay, oh man, I I love the Alolan Grimer and Muck uh, line, absolutely like phenomenal, making a Pokemon I kind of didn't like into one I adore, we have a, oh, a really adorable Ralts. Ooh, okay, we've got a Lolan Vulpix, uh, barely visible there, kind of just a cloud of white. Our reverse is a Kingdra, very nice. Uh, yeah, I haven't seen Kingdra in the set in a while, actually. It's a bit of a sort of obscure Pokemon everyone forgot about. And the rare is a Bruxish. Well, I mean, yet again, following the you win some, you lose some thing. You know, not not too bad, I guess. It's a card I don't have. I don't actually think I've opened many Burning Shadows uh, packs. It's kind of just a set that 
I guess isn't including a lot of things that I've bought and I didn't go nuts buying stuff. Uh, talking about going nuts buying stuff, Ultra Prism. Now, I've not opened Ultra Prism packs in a while. I know it's the, well, it's not the newest set now, uh, thanks to Forbidden Light, but it was the last one to come out. So, you know, I kind of would like to open a couple more. I think I got some pretty good pulls last time. Uh, four to the front, gonna go for a water energy. I'm completely wrong again. And let's begin with a Manaphy. Interesting choice, having a Manaphy is an uncommon card. Probably said that in a previous video actually. We have a Lopunny, every furry's favourite rabbit. We have Mars. Uh, yeah. We have a oh, Turtwig. Yeah. I I do love me some Turtwig. Uh, actually one of my favourite starters, controversially. Uh, we have Electabuzz in a less dynamic pose than the last one, but still looking magnificent. We have a Cheruby. Ooh, in the kind of plasticine style. Well, it looks stitched, actually. Kind of like Yarn Yoshi or whatever. You know, in interesting one, I guess. Uh, we have a Glammeow. A Pokemon, I'm going to be honest, I don't really care much about. Uh, we have a Snova. Our reverse is a Bastiodon. Oh, yeah. Byron would be proud. And our rare is a Tapu Lele. I didn't even know there was a regular Tapu card. I thought they were all GXs. Um, so, you know, that's interesting. A, a fairy card I like. There we are. We've broken the cycle. Uh, right. So... Here's hoping that this last pack has something pretty good because whilst the Crawdont Hollow, you know, is nice and everything, uh, one Hollow from a box of five packs isn't the best rate. So really, really putting all my faith into the I can't remember the name of um, this version of Solgaleo. It's like Dawn Cloak or something, or what was it Necrozma? I I don't know. Uh, because I've not actually played much of Ultra Sun. I'm like two hours in or something. I keep meaning to go back, but um, I don't know. I'm just playing other games and stuff. Uh, right, so Fire Energy. Ooh, almost. And by almost, I mean no, not at all. Uh, we have an escape board. Uh, get it? It's a escape, kind of like a skate, but not. We have uh, gr gr uh, Grottle. Grottle? I'm never sure how to pronounce that. I, I guess it's Grotel. We have a Cynthia. Yeah, boys! We have a Alolan Vulpix again. Oh, just chilling in the snow with the other Vulpixes and stuff. Uh, that's actually really adorable art. We have a Stunky. Uh, ev everyone's favourite dark Pokemon. Talking about everyone's favourite Pokemon, we have a young goose. Yay, who's actually that's that's some really nice art, actually. I mean you know, not being on young goose, but ooh, we have Roselia, Pokemon I am rather big on. And we hey we have Cosmog or Nebby, as everyone likes to call it. And then brings up the bag. Our reverse is Piplup. Ooh. That looks like artwork from one of the pop series, the um, Pokemon Organized Play things. I swear to God that I have that artwork of Piplup, or if not, the background is very similar. Our rare, I'm banking on this, is Heatrotom. Well, okay then. This has been a not so great box, uh, I guess. I mean, well, Okay, no, that that's that's not quite fair. It's the luck of the packs from this box has not been great. The box itself, however, has been pretty phenomenal because I will say this card is really cool. It reminds me a lot of around the time Pokemon the Movie 2000 came out. There was a card that featured uh, the legendary birds. Uh, I'll pop it up on screen here. And I was offered, um, you know, my, my mother offered to buy it for me, I think, when we were in the shop. And I just said, no, you know, like, big cards just aren't my thing. Uh, and admittedly, big cards still aren't really my thing, because they're really, you know, clunky. And most of the time, they're just enlarged versions of, 
you know, a regular card and stuff. But cards like this, I really like because they are special. They're, you know, th this is the only way you'd ever see this art and stuff. So uh, I'm hoping in the future, maybe the Pokemon Company, you know, take a hint and start doing more of these things. And, you know, I've got to say, the uh, the cards that came with this box as well are things of beauty. Might pick up the Suicune box uh, if and when they do it, you know. Depends what the card art is like. But that about wraps it up. So, um, yeah, thanks for watching and stuff. I'll probably be doing some more Pokemon card things in the future, along with some more Dragon Ball Super cards, uh, which I've started getting addicted to. So, until next time... Goodbye.